grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I appreciate when Republican leaders appreciate Republican heritage. April 19, 2005, George W. Bush dedicated the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum. This inspiring facility occupies a city block in Springfield, Illinois. Visitors experience the life and times of the great emancipator. Said the president, quote, to understand the life and the sacrifice of Abraham Lincoln is to understand the meaning and promise of America. We honor his good life in a more personal way. We can walk through his house, see his belongings, and read the Gettysburg Address in his own hand. And even across the mounting years, we can sense the power of his mind, the depth of his convictions, and the decency that defined his entire life. Lincoln has taken on the elements of myth, and in this case, the myth is true. In the character and convictions of this one man, we see all that America hopes to be. Lincoln was morally offended by what he called the monstrous injustice of slavery itself, and he believed the permanent acceptance of the institution of slavery would represent the end of the American ideal. He would not accept that our new world of hope and freedom must forever be a prison for millions. And so, with the relentless logic and clarity of Lincoln, he pushed his countrymen to choose, live up to the truth written into human nature by our Creator, or disavow the freedom our forefathers had earned. Abraham Lincoln had a streak of melancholy in him. He said our short lives are like the break of the wave, but the wave of his life is still felt in our world. The union he saved still thanks him. The people he freed still honor him. And here in the place he called home, Springfield, Illinois, we proudly de dedicate the Abraham Lincoln Library and Museum. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.